monthly subscription worth ten dollars a month? For many players, the answer is hidden in these four letters. After FedExer announced their new monthly subscription model, it made many players feel so frustrated that they abandoned the idea of using FedExer. Still, many of us are intrigued to test the 90-day trial, and one of the reasons why – because we were promised to get a new FedExer studio with high-intensity interval training. And on May 24th we got the latest update, and now we can check the new heat class and now we can finally decide whether the new workouts are so good that they can make it worth the monthly subscription. Hello everyone, this is Lena on the Arfit Body channel. Haven't seen you for a while. Guys, I missed you. And today I am so excited because today I can finally check the new hit studio in Fit XR. We have been waiting for it for long. So now after the latest update we now have the access to four heat workouts, uh, two workouts of uh, beginner level intensity and two intermediate intensity workouts. So today we will check some of them, we will check how many calories we can burn with them and of course let's check if they are as intense as FitXR developers promised us to be. So let's get started! Many of us wonder what is HEAT. HEAT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. When you perform HEAT, it means you combine exercises of high intensity with some periods of rest so that you can catch your breath. One of the reasons why HEAT workouts are so popular is because it is very effective for weight loss. Performing high-intensity exercises combined with periods of rest raises your metabolism and speeds up the process of fat burning, which means you keep burning the calories even when your workout is over. This is how FitXR describes their heat workouts. The heat workouts get your heart rate pumping. A studio inspired by a fitness device that is used to train Formula 1 drivers. Workouts that test and train your agility, endurance and reaction speed. When you enter the HEAT studio, you see four classes. One intermediate class that is 10 minutes long, two 6-minute classes and one 7-minute long class. The same like with boxing and dancing classes. You can play HEAT in a random multiplayer or you can create a private room and play with your friends. The HEAT studio has a unique clifftop environment and this new environment has two options – night and day. The same as in the dance studio. The HEAT studio has you facing your trainer, he or she stands in front of you and explains how to perform the exercises. Hey, get ready to work that body! In this workout you have two moves that you alternate between to do a total of three times each. We work for 40 seconds and we rest for 10 seconds. In HEAT, the instructor's comments are more useful than in dancing, although I found the movements they show uh, not to be very useful, like they do not provide much sense. I think it might work a little better if the developers replaced a 3D trainer with a real instructor shown on the screen. The HEAT workouts in FedExR are based on a standard HEAT program. During a class you have several blocks of work. In each you have two exercises that you do for 30 seconds and they are followed with 10 seconds of rest. The faster you move, the higher is your score. To earn points you should reach out and hit the orbs that appear on the grid. The same as in Bug Studio, the blue orbs can be hit only by the blue glove, the orange orbs can be hit by the orange glove. If you hit the wrong cue or in the wrong order, you get the minus 250 points penalty. Each exercise has its pattern. Sometimes you have to jump from one side to another, sometimes you have to squat like crazy to switch between uh, the top and bottom orbs. Altogether, it provides a workout of incredible intensity, and this is very hard. After exercising in three classes, I felt incredibly tired and I couldn't catch a breath. In front of you there is a countdown timer, so you can see how much time is left till the end of the exercise. 
When there are several minutes left, the trainer motivates you to move faster to reach a higher score. All the way to zero, just keep on moving. You've got a 25 second break after this. Yes, you smashed that. The same as in boxing, the multiplayer mode motivates you to move faster because you do not want to find yourself in the bottom end of the leaderboard. Overall, I like the idea of heat in VTXR, but there is one big shortcoming. The design of the grid is large enough, so sometimes the orbs appear outside of your field of vision. So it means that sometimes you have to keep looking around to find the next orb, because you literally do not see it and, of course, it slows down your activity and it downgrades your score. Calories After finishing one 6-minute heat workout of beginner intensity, my fitness watch showed 31 calories, Move showed 37 calories and FitXR shows 25 calories. It's funny that now FitXR shows fewer calories than other calorie trackers. Anyway, it means that over 6 minutes of heat in FitXR you will burn around 30 calories. It means 300 calories for an hour of exercising in heat. So yeah, this is what we got and uh, to be honest, I am positively surprised with what I found in my headset after this update. I think heat workouts are very intense and uh, I can uh, tell you honestly that no one game or uh, no one cl boxing class gave me this, uh, this level of intensity and uh, after two workouts I did today. My legs are burning and uh, I think that today I will especially feel them. That said, uh, I don't think that uh, this uh, update justifies the behavior of FitXR developers and I think they uh, behaved dishonestly towards FitXR players. So even if I like the update, I still think that they are scoundrels. So now the question is not whether FitXR gain is good or bad, the question is whether it is worth buying something, even if it is good, from a company that uh, behaves like that and support th that company. So now more than ever I need your opinion, I um, need your advice. So I decided that I will let you to decide whether I should subscribe or not. If you think that I should not subscribe, just leave me a comment below this video and tell me that I shouldn't and why. But if you want to see more videos about new heat workouts on my channel, uh, I will subscribe and uh, I will make more content for you. So you decide. In order to vote, just uh, leave your comment below this video and um, sh uh, share your thoughts, what you think, and remember that your opinion is very important because it can help other players to make a decision whether it is worth for them to buy a monthly subscription or not. I hope this video was useful for you, exercise in VR and see you soon in my next videos. Bye-bye!